Good morning, card community. It's RJ. Time for another video. Let's get to it. So today's random Mike Schmidt item of the day from 1977. A uh, scorecard, the 1977 Phillies souvenir program and scorecard. So I'm not sure about every other major league team, but the Phillies will produce one of these uh, during a homestand. And then they'll switch it up every homestand. They'll have a different cover and different information inside. The reason this is my Mike Schmidt collectible is because it had Mike Schmidt on the cover. Anytime Mike Schmidt is on the cover, I consider it a collectible of Mike Schmidt. This is definitely a Larry Boa. I believe that's Richie Hebner. I'm not certain of that, but that's what I believe. I know he was on the team in 77. Interesting about this one, the person who bought this at the time kept score. And you can see here, Schmidt didn't have the best day. He was batting third in the lineup, struck out his first time up, and he walked but did not score. And then he uh, grounded, in, grounded out to the shortstop in his last at-bat. Looks like the Phillies went on to... Uh, did they lose this game? Nope. Whoever kept score, uh, it was a nothing-nothing tie at the end of eight. And I guess this guy couldn't stick around to see the end. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. This I recognize. This is going to be funny if you, how bad I am about this. This little thing right here, this little initial. Um, the Phillies always ran a program that if you kept score and you turned in your scorecard at the, um, uh, like around the fifth inning, you could take it up to the, uh, this the, the what, do, what do you call it? The service desk, whatever they call that, the fan appreciation desk or whatever. You could show them and you kept score up that time. And then the lady there would initial it like this. I did this for like many years, so I know those were her initials. She would initial it and you'd get a prize. And the prize was always a leftover um, giveaway. One of the, you know, they give away, you got, it's Veterans Stadium. There's 66,000 seats. So not everybody showed up to every game. So they always had extra giveaways for the fans. And that's how they got rid of them. They would give them away to people who kept score. Uh, so this person actually did keep score, turned it in, and for whatever reason, they didn't stick it out. Um, I guess they were playing the Mets at the time. I see uh, this is, uh, well, no, why do the Reds? You got Foster. I don't know. Lynn was shortstop. Espinosa. Mazzilli. I'm going to guess it was the Mets, though. Don't know all the people. Anyway. My random Mike Schmidt item of the day. Random baseball item of the day. Got another thing here. This is the last one I needed for the Ted Williams Card Company. I was going through the Ted Williams Card Company the other day, and I found a couple things, and I thought to myself, I want to finish out some of the insert sets, because I got those pogs, if you recall, the other day. One of the other things they had was a 20-card insert set called Memories. And I had the Dodgers... But there were two Dodgers, one Pirates, and one Reds. And this is the Reds five-card insert to that. Johnny Bench, George Foster, Joe Morgan, and Tony Perez. Highlighting what happened in the 75 World Series. And you can see these five cards. There's a little checklist on the back of the five Reds cards. But they're numbered to 20. Because, again, there were two Dodger um, five-card uh, runs early on 1 through 10 and then a Pirates one 11 through 15 and then the Reds ended it so and I now have all of these little memories cards that were part of the uh, Ted Williams card company set uh, there's still a couple um, things on the checklist a lot of autograph cards that I'm not going to waste my time collecting but there's still a couple there's a tribute insert set to um uh, Clemente that I have to get. There's another tribute insert set to Brooks Robinson, which um, I was thinking about getting. I probably will, but each one of those, I think it was like 10 cards. Nine of them, there's a, there's a checklist header like this, but nine of them come in an autographed uh, parallel as well. The autographed versions, it's interesting, they're not differentiated. There's no difference in the card between the, the, the plain one and the autographed one. So theoretically, you could have got Brooks to autograph a base card later on and you'd never know the difference. Anyway, those are things I'm thinking about getting as part of my collection. And this is my random baseball item of the day. 
Today's trivia question, it is still award season, uh, and having finished off the Rookie of the Year and the Cy Young, we're going to move on to MVP award questions. So, um, the uh, MVP award is a regular award in Major League Baseball these days, has been since the 30s in its current format. Uh, prior to that, there have been a number of other type of awards given presumably to the most valuable player. And um, many different organizations give out awards to players and call them, it's their MVP. Uh, different news agencies, sporting goods companies, they all will award MVP style awards to various players just for name recognition for the advertising and whatnot. But only one is typically considered the Major League MVP award, the one the players really want, and the one that we all talk about. But back in 1910, there wasn't really an award, but a car manufacturer, last name of Chalmers, um, was producing cars at the time. And in a way to advertise his cars, he said he would give away a, a new car, one of his deluxe models, to the person, to the player, who finished the season with the highest batting average. Now, there was such a, a brouhaha towards the end regarding the two players who were fighting to be the top dog in the end of the season, that when the final person who won it by percentage points won it, there was kind of an outrage for the other guy that this particular car manufacturer, Mr. Chalmers, agreed to give one car to each of those players. Thereafter, he would give it to, he said, the, the person who basically was the MVP who demonstrated the most skilled, the most important um, contributions to baseball, his team and society, yada, yada, yada. And from 1910 through 1914, there was such a thing as the Chalmers Award and the, that, in, that winner would get a new car. But in 1910, that first year, it was supposed to be the person with the highest batting average. And instead, two individuals received cars. So who were the two individuals? Name for me those two individuals who in 1910 were the recipients of the very first Chalmers Award, uh, which we'll be playing for as this MVP card, former Cub and former MVP Sammy Sosa. This is his 2000 Topps Stadium Club Chrome card. So that is a uh, cool card of... Former great Sammy Sosa. That's what you'll be playing for. Just shoot me an email with the correct answer. I will include my email in the description below, along with a repeat of the question. You will have today and tomorrow to answer, and we will pick a winner on Sunday, all right? Good luck to everybody on that. So today, what I'm showing off is I bought into a break the other day and just recently got the cards. Uh, I bought into a break with Mike over at Rippin' for Rookies, who did a uh, break of Topps Archives. And uh, we had to, you know, we negotiated the teams. I was able to get the Phillies. Uh, but I also decided, you know, I, he always has, there's never 30 people who buy in. It's always a little less, so I always try to get two teams. And the second team, a little less interesting, was the Colorado Rockies. So I'm going to show off my Rockies cards first. So here is a C.J. Cron card. These are the 2002 style, I believe. 2002 or 2003. It might have been 2000. Oh, it's 2003. You can tell because there's a face insert. And always in the years ending in three, tops would do, well, every two, every uh, 20 years in the anniversary of the three, they do a face insert down here. So C.J. Cron, Chris Bryant. Shout out to uh, Kalen over at Don't Talk to, Ro to Robots. Ryan McMahon. This is a uh, 65 style. Yermin Marquez. Uh, 56 style, I believe. Nolan Jones. Another 2003 style. Ziki Latovar rookie card. And then lastly, Miguel Toglia, rookie card. So that is the Rocky pull. The Phillies, so I also got a, uh, 
uh, not a short print, but a serial number. This is kind of like a, a rainbow foil version of uh, C.J. Cron's card number to 199 So now the Phillies, I didn't hit as many, but what I did hit was a little bit better. A little bit better. And I'll show these off. So, uh... Phillies, Reese Hoskins, who is likely no longer a Philly. It's not official yet, but it's highly probably he won't be back. Hopper, got two Hoppers. Not serial numbered or nothing, just base cards. A couple Bryson Stotts, a Turner, and a Schwarber. But the big pull of the day, since you get two autographs per box, two on-card autographs per box, I snagged the first auto in the break with a Jason Worth card. Very nice hit for me. Very thrilled about that. So shout out to Mike over at Rippin' for Rookies to, for running a great break. I'm happy I bought in. And I snagged some, some really cool stuff there. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please consider like, subscribing, commenting, all that jazz. I really do appreciate all your support as I try my best to support everybody else in this great card community. Uh, don't forget the trivia question. Love to hear you answer on that one, and we'll have some more on Wednesday and Friday, all right? Thanks for watching. Take care.